pretty sure, because we chose the good path, so I'm pretty confident we have to kill Lucian, which is a bit of a shame. Seems like a pretty nice guy. I mean, looks a bit shady, doesn't he? Let's face it. Right, come on, die. We're using these ice and rolls. We got so many of them. Uh, I tried it the first time with no armor, and uh, I used 11, and then obviously went back, got all my armor and stuff, and then, uh, yeah, did it in no time. Anyway, quest completed, Temple of Ikov, giving us one quest point, 10,500 range XP and 8,000 fletching, getting us to level 58 range and 49 fletching, which is fantastic. We can now make Mithril Brutal Arrows. Right, so I think we have all the quest requirements needed to go and do Desert Treasure. This is going to be a fun one. Let's just double check this first before we go ahead and do it. Yes, we do indeed. As well, quickly, uh, let me just run over to the bank. As you can see, we've collected 208 eclectic implings. So as soon as I've done recipe for disaster, I think we're going to start on the range boots grind. Uh, when I said the other day, um, a couple of clips back, that I couldn't remember what level I got. I think it was a herbal level. We've got 53 herbal now, which is amazing. Obviously, we got some of that after the Legends quest, but I'm pretty sure we cleaned some herbs as well and got a few others. Anyway, let's go and do Desert Treasure. We got 13 magic logs. You only need 11. No, sorry, 12. You only need 12. Um, but I got an extra one just in case it comes in handy for anything else. Doing nature implings in Puro Puro during my live stream. So yeah, anyway, let's crack on with Desert Treasure. I believe that talking to this guy should be the end of the quest. And of course, we've just been through and done Desert Treasure. Now, the lockpicking side of this took me absolutely freaking ages. Like, I'm not even joking. I legitimately had to use about 40 lockpicks. Anyway, 20,000 magic XP. And obviously, we get access to ancient magics as well as getting 69 magic which of course is amazing so i want to change it back though because i don't want to be on ancients right now i'd rather be on the normal spell book but of course we can come back here whenever we need to so i should be able to complete recipe for disaster very soon i'm going to go and do the last two pieces uh, the last two bits of the quest where are they um rfd so i'm going to go and do the ceramic vase one and the monkey ambassador so yeah i'll join you once i finish them too 49 farming nice we have been and done the final two pieces of the recipe for disaster quest or at least these sub quests um oh hang on a minute maybe you should wear the i'm um, okay Ooh, got worried then for a second let's do ceramic vase first there we go 400 cooking xp 400 hit points and one quest point that does actually mean as well that we can get ourselves the rune gloves from the barrel from the barrel's chest from the Colin romances chest which is just down here however there's no point buying them just yet because we'll be able to get the uh the dragon not the dragon the barrels ones very soon um but yeah if we go to here very quickly and click buy items the rune ones are there and i don't plan on ever dying on the account so i shouldn't need them for anything uh, right the monkey speak amulet i believe is in here there we go right anyway let's run up and do this real quick and now for the final part there we go, nice. Right, I need, I think I need like five more quest points after this, and then we can finally fight the Culling Romancer. Um, I believe there's like six things I need to fight or something silly. Oh, here we go, a cutscene. No, we're good, we're good. Come on. There we have it, one quest point. We have 170 now, and I think we need 175 for the final battle. We also got 10,000 cooking XP, 10,000 agility XP, and of course, we can now teleport to Apatol, as well as unlocking the dragon gloves, but the same as the barrels ones. Well, in fairness, you should never buy dragon gloves because they're so expensive. Um, you better off just buying the room ones until you can afford the barrels. But yeah, um, yeah, done and dusted. Right, let's uh, get ready for the final boss fight. I think we need to do a few more quests first, like I mentioned before. This quest, like, always confuses the hell out of me. I have no idea when it ends. It's ridiculous. So you talk to this guy and then talk to this guy. I remember last time I did this quest on the main, um, I did all this, and then I had to do the other part as well. I had to side with both of the people. I don't know. It somehow messed up. Yeah, there you go. I didn't get a quest point for that, though. Like, give me the quest point. Shirts covered in the room to the east. Like, you think that would give you the quest point, but it doesn't. Stupid, man. Uh, right, search. Do I, do I get my quest point now? Please. There we go. There's the quest point. It's so bizarre. It finishes it like that. It's just very strange. Anyway, quest completed. Four more quest points to go, and then we can do recipe for disaster. At least a final boss part. And of course, because we only needed four more quest points, I had to come and do sheep herder. Makes perfect sense. Hang on, why did it freeze there? Makes perfect sense because it gives you four quest points, which means we now have 175 and can go and do that final boss fight. So let's go and do it. All right, 
Let's go and start on these final fights. Hey, wait a minute. Horror from... Uh, come on, bro. All right, well, no one told me I had to do the bar crawl before I could do horror from the deep. I mean, in fairness, I kind of knew that. Uh, man, this is getting awkward. Right, I'm pretty confident that that is the end of the mini game. Uh, do I want to smash my vials? Hmm... Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to say yeah. I can always turn it off at some point, but that should allow me access to here. It does indeed, which means we can finish off the horror from the deep quest by talking to one of the guys around here. I don't actually know who I'm talking to. Hold up. Ah, it's this fine specimen inside here. Look at that. Easy game. Come on, boys. Dead Dagonov mother. Right, now we should be able to go and complete Recipe for Disaster. Feels freaking good, man. All right, as soon as we're prepping for the all-important final boss fight. I'm going to upgrade it to rune gloves. So yeah, this is going to be fun. All right, we are ready to do this. Let's jump in the portal. Now it's time for the final boss battle. Are you ready? Let's do this.
Easy quest. Easy game. Feels freaking amazing, man. Right, so now let's use this straight away. Bang it on her blow. 20,000 XP, getting us all the way to level 54. And we can now clean qualms. Sweet. Right, anyway, let's go and buy these Barrow's Gloves. Let's face it, that's the only thing we wanted from this quest. Come on, bro. Let's get over to that chest. Upgrade these Rune Gloves to Barrow's. Feels so good, man, honestly. Ah, uh, do you know what? I can't even think. I don't think I can afford them. That's awkward, isn't it? Hold up. There we go. Right, I've alked a few things in the bank, which means we can now equip the Barrow's Gloves. Now the account is actually good. And he's going to get an Ezzy Helm now, and then we are sorted. Just before we end this episode, I just want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, which is shown on screen now. So Mitch Bookcase, Inglorious Spud, and Matt, thank you to every single one of you. And of course, if any of you guys watching this do want to become a Patreon supporter, link is in the description. You can sponsor as little as $1 a month. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on Saturday for my next video. Thank <laughs> you.